This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot here to do another 48 hour energy update for the sign of Sagittarius. Just keep in mind these are general readings. It's not going to resonate with all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be a reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs of Sagittarius. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming forward for you guys this week. Alright, so. Spirit messages for the sign of Sagittarius. For the 4th to the 5th of June 2020 messages. Okay. <clears throat> So you are trying to fix something. You're trying to be understanding in a situation. Somebody may have deceived you in some way. And you're trying to look at this from two different angles. You're probably trying to work on something with someone. Oh. something that formally didn't work out something that may have not come into fruition I think you're trying to get a change in this situation yeah and you're trying to be optimistic about it for some of you it's a Leo you're dealing with but the Sun is definitely going to shine in this connection for you could be with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn but someone here is trying to be a mother figure a wife a husband maybe trying to be nurturing kind caring hmm someone that is emotionally involved in this connection there may be too many emotions on this person's behalf at this point in time and they're trying to fix something that they may have broken before. But somebody is manifesting this to come to life. Could be you, Saji, it could be the person you're dealing with, but somebody wants another do-over. With a Leo, definitely. For some of you, it is with a Leo. You have the Sun card and the Strength card. Um, someone is trying to be optimistic and strong about a manifestation that they're trying to bring back to life for something that didn't work out in the past. Yeah, because you're feeling stuck, you're not ready to move on from this connection yet. You're trying to stand your grounds and hold firm. Probably with a Scorpio Pisces Cancer, but you don't want to accept that this person may not love you or that they are being immature in communicating their feelings for you or you're trying not to make a decision when it comes to love because you're trying to be open to a possibility with someone or reconciliation with someone yeah something definitely ended and you see growth potential in it still and you're trying to manifest it back into existence because you don't want something to end, you want it to change, but you don't want it to end. Probably with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but this could be someone's husband as well. Could be someone's wife. But this person is sitting pretty right now and they're looking away from the ending or looking away from the situation at hand. They may be very kind, caring, nurturing. Now we have the we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles and both of them feel stuck they don't want to move on from each other they love each other there is a lot of care and kindness consideration here between this, these two people could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn you're dealing with but someone both of you are not ready to move on from each other yet some of you could have earth in your chart 
Oof. Because you and this person want to heal this connection. Hmm. They see you as their wish come true and you see them as your wish come true. But there was a break. There was a moment of silence. There was some reflection time. There was a separation here, definitely. Somebody withdrew and went within. Could be a Virgo, some of you are dealing with, or an Aquarius. But you guys want healing because you're not ready to move on from each other as yet. But you guys are not in communication. You're not speaking to one another. Or you may not be speaking to them or they're not speaking to you, but you guys see each other as an equal. You might see this person as your husband. They may see you as their wife. Could be vice versa. Sorry, guys. Phone just fell over. All right, so let's see. Someone wants a healing in this connection. Both of you actually do. Because there was a definite separation here. A break of some sort. You see this person as your equal. You see this person as your better half. But there is some sneakiness happening. Somebody was deceiving somebody else. Somebody was trying to sneak around. Somebody was trying to be deceptive about the way they felt. Mm -hmm. This person really does love you. And they see you as moving on from them. They see you as moving to calmer waters. They see you moving on to maybe a water sign. And with the block in communication or the no communication between you and them, it's causing hysteria. This person is getting hysterical. <laughs> yeah, we have the tree of pentacles in the reverse. They don't see how they can fix this. They don't see how they can build on this. You don't see it either. But they want a new beginning in love with you, Saji. Mm -hmm. But somebody needs to make a choice. We have the two of ones and the two of swords. So I think the both of you are at a stalemate and at a standstill where you don't know what to do. You don't know what part you want to take, Saji, and the person you're dealing with don't know what decision to make. Or it could be vice versa. But there is a lot of love here. Somebody wants to start again in love with you. They love you. They definitely love you because they come out as a king of cups. But you and this person... One person is in their mind as to what to do. They're at a stalemate. And the other person isn't sure which part they want to take. Somebody may try to rush into somebody else this week to offer them love. Hmm. To offer them a relationship. To offer them this cup. Because this is the Knight of Cups. You see that cup he has in his hand there? I'm not sure if you guys could see it. Yeah. He is trying to give you this cup for a new beginning. Could be an area some of you are dealing with, but this person don't know how to take charge of the situation. Because they feel that they are definitely down on their luck. For some of them, they may have felt that the wheel of fortune has stopped. Come on. For real? Yeah. They, they know that the cycle between you and them hasn't ended. But they're trying not to obsess about it. They're trying not to be toxic. They're trying to give you a space for you to come to them when you are ready. 
but there was a fight. Somebody offered somebody love and there was a fight. There may have been quarreling and bickering between you and this person because you may have wanted... <laughs> oh my God, two of you are on two different parts, aren't you? Someone wanted to offer love and someone only saw this relationship as sex. Yeah, and someone definitely doesn't want to communicate because I don't know why this phone keeps falling off. And all the other readings, it, was, it behaved. Come on now. So one of you were in love with the other person and the other person only saw it as sex. And I think that is where the conflict came in because someone wanted love and someone just wanted sex. Someone feels like their hand are tied in this situation, but somebody misses you badly, Saji. Somebody is crying over spilled milk. Could be you, could be them. This person doesn't know how to fix this situation with you, Saji. Ah, but they are hoping that their friends will help. They are hoping for coming together with you. Probably in a in a party because they know the cycle hasn't closed off yet but they're not sure if you're going to take whatever it is they're offering after a betrayal they may have betrayed you they may have hurt you very badly and they're not sure if you are going to take them up on their offer but they are hoping for a coming together with you all right this is what i have for you guys i hope it helps have a good one